hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to check the username available or not using vb.net on a remote database SQL server right now I am on the vb.net source code and this source code contains a simple head attacks h1 and h2 with horizontal line what I'm doing is I'm adding a script manager here toolbox script manager after adding the script manager I'm adding do update panel toolbox update panel I'm adding content template username I'm adding a text box control I'm adding a div container div id is equals to check user available run it server visible is equals to false between this div controller I am adding the image controller and one little controller to display the message little controller that's it in this designing part let's build a solution build succeeded and we'll check the output on a browser how it looks the designing part and here we got the output of the designing code username and one text box and the header tags and also we added one image and little control in a div container that we made visible is equals to false my aim is if a user enter any name in this text box and enter tab it will check in the database that the username available or not let's flip over to my vb.net we'll write the coding part now in this text box control I'm declaring on text change it event text box underscore text change it event text change event out of post back is equals to true after adding on text change it event and out of post back property is equals to true now right click the source code view code the first thing we need to import the namespaces imports system dot data imports system dot data dot SQL client imports system dot configuration after adding these three namespaces protector sub here this event by val sender as system dot object comma by val e as system dot event ox dim main con as string is equals to 
configuration manager dot connection strings my SQL server connection here my SQL server connection is my database name and the data source connection string properties are stored in the web.config file dot connection string dim SQL con as SQL connection is equals to new SQL connection which takes a parameter of this main connection SQL con dot open method dim command as SQL command is equals to new SQL command which takes two parameters one is the SQL query the table and the column names and the second one is the SQL con connection and the SQL statement is let's log into my GoDaddy SQL Server database we'll check the table name and the columns I'm logging to my GoDaddy database SQL Server I just logged into my little admin for SQL Server database and here in the databases user database I'm expanding that one my host and server is the user database expanding tables for this example I'm choosing user exists or not open table right now in this user exists table contains two records username Jack and Peter the table name is select username from dbo.user exists is a table name where username is equals to at username command dot parameters dot add with value the method at this one username comma text box control ID text box one dot text dim SDR data reader as SQL data reader is equals to command dot execute reader method if SDR dot has rows then the ID is check uh, this one the new ID dot visible is equals to true now the image one dot image URL and the image URL is this one little control little ID dot tags is equals to username not available else copy this this here and this one is right and the label is user available after end if SQL con dot close method let's build a solution here build succeeded now it's testing time let's run this example 
Now I'm entering the Peter name tab. See here the username not available. Check in the database table the Peter is already exists in this database. If you enter other than Peter like Charan, enter. See username available. That's it. If you like this video, please leave your valuable comment, share this video and please subscribe my channel. Catch you on my upcoming videos.